we are probably at this time emulating the, the process of rocks more than spirals. We are really simply gradually disappearing into perhaps nothing rather than a new beginning. So it, a new beginning is really my theme, that there is something uh, always uh, unattainable. In the spiritual sense, it's always just a moment. It's a strange kind of a moment of difference. As soon as it starts to live a life of its own, it becomes more like a rock again. And the danger is that we become like rocks and just start blowing in the wind eventually. It, it's really something that I feel very strongly about, that we don't create in a deep sense. Creation means to do something out of nothing, and that's beyond our abilities. But it's not the, beyond the abilities of something I call Kunstwallen. That is a, that's an energy who, who only likes to show something, never intends to reveal its totalness at all. It simply gives us an appearance of something. And uh, that's why there is such a hard, difficult thing to imagine a, a, a self-sufficiency. What is it? What is self-sufficiency? And only a parasite can somehow uh, enjoy that feeling that uh, taking it for granted that it's fed and cared for and protected. But that's not living. Living is not passive. Living is to take charge of something. So all the, all the people who say, you know, this is free, energy is free, that's nonsense. We at least pay for it by dying, if that is a, a payment in some fashion. So nothing is really free. So when we say something is free, we're simply practicing a passive enjoyment of something that happened to come our way. That's not good enough. We should be participants not just, uh, uh, just sufferers or, or listeners or, or, or actually uh, 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 benefactors. We should, we should create our own uh, sense of, of, of reality, not just tap into something. It's very difficult and I, I think we're on the verge of perhaps uh, seeing that there are two very different intellectual concepts in the world today. The spiritual, the inventive, the, 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 the joy of, of something new, and the, the conformity with the past. We have to live, we have to be in some conformity with the past, but we have to tear, us, tear ourselves out of that conformity. And, and transform ourselves into energies that are capable, where there's always plenty of, of room for new things. A certain energy is there, but it, it, we, we can't just emulate stones, mm -hmm. but we can enjoy their particular way of life as being, in a way, a, a born to disappear born to gradually disintegrate. It's taking time. I, ha I have a feeling we are in the process of sort of, of, of sort of a kind of a modest, of a modest feeling of understanding something. We are, we are not as arrogantly sure of many things as we used to be. We are more, well, it's 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 a it's it's a it's a it's a temporary truth. It, it it's true for now. But we we are in the modesty of of the having possession of something we call truth. 
And there's no, there's nothing uncomfortable to live in that uncertainty. It just has to be accepted as, as totally real. That truth is not necessarily a, an element of thinking. It is, it is the thinking of, a, of an artificial nature where a machine cannot tell the truth from falsehood, simply accepts anything that's fed into it as truth. You, you can program a computer with all kinds of nonsense and it would never spit anything out. Hey, that, that's false. I don't want that. They, 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 they would, of course, detect some contradictions, but that's about it. So, what about humans? Well, this is a, the problem. Is there, is there something called human nature? Isn't what we call human is that just a temporary state of, of, of helplessness, of, of hanging on to something that has to have a truthful foundation. We, we don't have to live in a world that only has truthful foundations. We can live beautifully in a world that has all kinds of un, un, uncertainty going for it. There is, that is the way the world is. We have turned it into something that's predictable. And uh, watching the, the weather forecasters every day, I mean, they know nothing about the future. But lots of animals know a lot more than those PhD guys. And, and you know, the, the, just that need to know how the weather is tomorrow. Uh, why, why would we spend billions and, and, and millions of hours of time on, on such, uh, such uh, weak science? So why do you think? The what? Why do you think? Because of the necessity of being human. Humans, our brain demands a certain comfortable uh, level of certainty. But why? Because we're chicken. We're, 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 we don't have courage to live, live just our own lives. We, we lack the courage to live without the certainty of something. Uh, that that is, is greater than we are. We we are afraid of the unknown. Uh, the problem is, we have not analyzed knowledge, knowledge for what it is. Knowledge is always incomplete something, and. It's more and more becoming, becoming a reality through, through the new telescope, the Hubble telescope will, will never end. They will never end discovering new worlds. 